Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. I am here to show you today how to use your digital stickers and how to organize them using your GoodNotes app. Okay, so you may have just purchased some stickers online from our shop on Breezy Organization or from somewhere else. Now, stickers come in different types. It all depends on how the creator decided to make them. Some creators make a whole bunch of stickers on one page, and then you have to actually individually crop those and put those in, put those in your camera roll, put those in a file, however you like to organize. I personally like to organize within a planner and name my tabs, and that way it's super easy. So the way that I like to use it is to have my weekly planner up and then my sticker planner on the other side so I can easily just you know, circle the sticker that I want. I can click right back here and paste without having to um, go uh, flip through my pages this way, find the page that I want, and then flip through the pages this way and find what I want. So this makes it really, really easy with both of these tabs open. So that's just personal preference, how I like to organize my stickers. Um, now, depending on how you buy your stickers, if you buy stickers from Breezy Organization, we have them pre-cropped and ready to go. So I'm going to open up my files folder, drag this over here, and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. When you download our stickers from Breezy Organization, you're going to get a folder and it's going to have the title of the stickers. So these are our farmhouse stickers and they are already, they don't have a background and they are ready to go. Okay, so we are going to go over here and we're going to go to our sticker book and we are going to go to a page that is not being used and click. So this is how you're going to use it. Say you want to start on this page here. You can literally just drag and drop. It is absolutely amazing. You can see it doesn't have a background on it and they're already pre-cropped, ready to go. So all of these stickers, you can just drag and drop and organize them however you want them to put on a page. Super, super easy. You'll do that to all of them. And then you won't actually have to go back to this file anymore. Anytime you are ready to use it, you can just go over here to your weekly planner and say, okay, I'm going to put this really cute chair here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this in down here at the bottom. So super, super easy. And then um, I actually didn't put all of them in there because this is my sticker book. So like if you want the desk, you would copy this and paste it here at the bottom. Okay, and then now we need to grab the chair. So we're gonna copy this and paste this over here. And then you have the desk and the chair. So super, super cute. Okay, so um, that is how you can use our stickers. They're pre-cropped, they're ready to go. Okay, so some people sell actual PNG sticker sheets. So how you would use those in your sticker book, you would save the picture and then um, it would be like a sheet of stickers like this. Now it would look a little bit better than this. I don't actually sell them like that. So I just um, put a few stickers on the same page to show you kind of how it would work. Um, but they have a PNG background, so all these are see-through. But as you can see, I have way too many stickers. I can't just pick one. So this is what you'll do. You will click on the blue handle and you'll hit crop and then you'll just bring this in really, really close. That way it's um, easy for you to use later. And then once you crop these and put these in your sticker book, um, this is what's nice about having a sticker book because if you're just going to use that sticker over and over again, you would have to do that every single time you had one sticker that you wanted to use. But if you have a sticker book, now the next time that I want to use this, all I have to do is copy this one image and then I can put it on the page that I want to and it's already pre-cut and I don't have to do that again. So, um, but you would need to do that to every one of those files. So you'd have to click here, click crop, and then crop these down. So we like to sell ours pre-crop so we save you kind of this step because sometimes this could take a long time to do. Um, but definitely doable and if you buy from another shop that does it like this, no need to worry, you definitely can use them, not a problem at all. Now whenever you are selecting a sticker and there are two stickers kind of on top of each other, um, sometimes it's really, really hard 
if you just circle, you're going to get both images. So sometimes it's really hard to make sure you get one image and not the other. So you need to go completely opposite to a side that's the least like touched and connected to another image. And you don't need to circle the whole picture to grab something. All you need to do is make a tiny little circle. So you could just make a tiny circle down here and copy and then go over here and press paste. And you see, I just got that one item. Whereas if I would just put a circle down here, if it's overlapping at all, you're you're going to get both items. So whenever you are putting it in a sticker book, it is, you can have things pretty close to each other like this. Obviously they are on top of each other and it still works. It is a lot easier if you do allow just a little bit of white space in between. So you don't have to worry about that as much, but definitely easy to do. You don't have to circle the whole thing. Just make that small circle in there and you are good to go. So thanks for watching this video on stickers and how to use them. I hope it helped. Be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe down below, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.